iOS 18 is set to come with lots of features for your iPhone which has led many people to get excited over it. While many of us are already extremely happy with our current iPhones and how well they perform, that is generally the beauty of technology. There are always constant improvements on the horizon waiting to be uncovered and brought to the public. Welcome back everyone to the Dr. Phone channel. My name is Francisco and today we're going to talk about iOS 18 and how to install it onto your iPhone. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1. Features coming to iOS 18 Most of the features coming to iOS 18 have to do with improvements to AI, and not just small improvements, but actually some quite significant ones that will strongly reinforce the stranglehold that iPhones hold as of now in 2024. Some of those features include the following. Siri undergoes a comprehensive redesign, becoming more intelligent by leveraging a new AI system, incorporating large language model technology. However, the most significant enhancements to Siri are anticipated to debut in 2025, as still part of iOS 18. The Messages app integrates AI, capable of handling inquiries and offering sentence completions. Users gain the ability to summarize various content types, including incoming messages, notifications, Safari web pages, and emails. Auto-generated reply suggestions streamline responses to emails and text messages, automatically crafting comprehensive replies on behalf of the user. Apple Music introduces new AI features for creating auto-generated playlists. Generative AI is integrated into iWork apps like Keynote and Pages. Xcode incorporates generative AI functionalities to expedite the development of new applications. The Photos app receives major updates, enabling users to enhance images, remove objects and individuals, among other features. Voice Memos gains new AI features, including automatic transcription capabilities. AI-powered custom emoji generation is introduced, creating emoji icons based on user input in real time, updating dynamically as the user type. Now, all of these features do sound really cool, and there are tons of practical usage for most of these, which will lead to iOS and iPhones, for that matter, gaining even more traction by the end of the year, easily. Part 2. How to actually install iOS 18 beta Now that you know about the newest features coming to iOS 18, I'm sure you're even more convinced that you want to install this beta onto your iPhone to test it out and just see how far the new features have come. Let's talk about how to install this beta, so please make sure to follow the steps coming right up. However, I did want to know that you should really consider backing up your data using Wondershare Doctor Phone because you're downloading a beta and this can be unstable software so it is always just safer to create a backup of your data before anything to make sure that if anything does end up going wrong you can at least restore it back up to your phone without issues. First I will show you how to install the beta but if you want to back up your data first just skip forward a bit to this timestamp that you're going to see on screen to get to that first then return to this part of the video afterwards to install the beta. Now let's go ahead and begin. First, on your iPhone, open settings, then click general. Click software update, and you will see if an iOS 18 update is available. Click download and install, or install now to begin the process. Your iPhone will download the necessary files. Once completed, you will be prompted to install the update. It's actually very easy to do. Now you should be able to access all of the features currently available through the beta and see what else gets added for the time being. This is the best way of installing the beta, so please make sure to check it all out. Part 3. You should really back up your data before installing iOS 18 beta. At times, the iOS system software itself might pose obstacles preventing you from downloading or installing iOS 18, or you might face issues with iTunes, but worry not there's a dependable solution available. Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS provides numerous options for updating iOS devices independently of iTunes. This method guarantees data preservation during the iOS upgrade all without the necessity of jailbreaking. Be assured your device's safety remains intact as Dr. Phone avoids any actions that could compromise its quality. So here are going to be the steps to backing up your data very easily. First, make sure to download and install Wondershare Dr. Phone by clicking on the link in the description. Follow the steps until you've installed this software. Once you've launched it, click on the My Backup tab to access the backup section of your phone. From there, you will be presented with many individual aspects that you can back up, or you can just choose to back up everything altogether. Everything will be selected automatically, but for the purposes of this video, we will select what we want individually. Once you've chosen the aspects that you would like to back up, just select the Backup Now button. Wait for it to finish, and once it is done, you will receive a notification. Now, if anything goes wrong and you need to restore any of your data, 
data, you can just select your device from the backup section on the left side panel and restore your backup to your device just like that. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. If you liked our video, then please make sure to leave us a like. Please make sure to comment any of your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. And subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever a new video drops. Until next time, have a great day.